that. Okay, we got Jack Dempsey and Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson signed us? Who did this not for me? And then we have a boxer here in France, so champion of France. How good could he be? You know, it's France. Yeah. <laughs> Bonjour. Postcards while I'm looking through my garage, and I instantly recognized Jack Dempsey and Jack Johnson. And as I flipped it over and noticed that his autograph, I thought this could be worth a lot. I would like to get about six hundred dollars out of today. Uh, the least I would take is probably around three hundred. Jack Dempsey, pretty cool. At one time, he was the richest athlete in the world. I think he had the first Boston match broadcast over radio. Wow. And this is apparently Jack Johnson. Now that guy, pretty incredible. Yeah, First really black heavyweight champion of the yeah. world. I'm supposed to tell him it was Negro it was boxing. Was and yeah, they were almost really good. Right this guy would have yeah. boxing matches that were 50 rounds. I mean, I cannot imagine. Yeah, he called up and said he was in his 60s, huh? I'm in my 70s, and I still got my punch. I got a punch. By the second punch, you're winded. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Johnson is just legendary. Here's a guy whose parents were born slaves, and he ends up breaking the color barrier in Boston. Half a century before the civil rights movement really got started. Amazing. They're really old postcards. I'm imagining 1920s, 1930s. I couldn't see him any newer than that. The big deal here, though, is the autograph. Right? I don't know if he was one of those guys who never signed his autograph. I mean, if you look at Joe Jackson, never signed his autograph, and his autograph is worth $80,000, $90,000. So... Would love one. I'd like to get 200 each since they were champions. I'd like to get $600. Yeah, we'll the value of them, I just don't know. All we have here is a postcard. Right here, all we have is a champion of France. I don't have money to just look yeah. for French boxing memorabilia. But this one really intrigued me. That's really his autograph on the back. It's worth something. We just got to figure out what. You don't mind if I call a friend and ask him here for the autograph? It's legit. We'll figure out a price. Yeah. <laughs> still live in this one. And there was a little bit of concern over whether the autograph is real or not. I know just from looking at it, <laughs> it's a real deal. It looks old and that style of writing. So I'll be absolutely shocked if that signature is not real. <laughs> There's lots of Brazilian coins here. It's going to take it all day, coin. Oh my good eye on my bed. Um, okay. Rich making me put a ton of coins inside coin holders, but there's just nowhere to do it. You can't rely on the old man.